Chasing Whitetails Media Series, Hunt, Fish, Forage, Farm. Today I'd like to invite you into our Weston Test Kitchen at Mill Creek Brewery. We hunt, fish, forage, and farm in our passionate pursuit of reconnecting with real food. Thank you for joining us today. Let's get started. Set your Western Fryer to 375 degrees and make sure that your oil is up to temperature. Otherwise your product will be soggy and oil laden. Safety note. Follow your fryer's operating instructions for the type of oil and its maximum level. Make sure you've drained your potatoes well or the water on them can cause splatter that can ignite a grease fire. In this video I have a little over two portions of fries. Make sure that your oil completely covers them during the cooking process. Once the potatoes are placed in the basket, lower them into the oil. Shake the basket gently to allow for even cooking. They're going to take about five to six minutes. Here I have all my ingredients measured and ready to make my beer batter. I place all my dry ingredients in the mixing bowl and mix them thoroughly. I add about two-thirds of my beer to the flour mixture. You need to have the correct consistency to ensure proper coating of your stingray. Mix it just enough to incorporate the ingredients. A couple small lumps won't hurt, but overworking your batter can make it tough. You will lightly coat your stingray with flour to help your batter stick to your protein. Completely coat your stingray with the batter. Make sure you drain any excess batter off the stingray before you lower it into the oil. When you lower it into the oil, you want to make sure that you're using a back and forth sweeping motion as you slowly lower it into the oil. Then shake the basket so it doesn't stick. It's going to take about four minutes to cook depending upon the size of your pieces. Make sure your stingray is no less than 145 degrees Fahrenheit internal temperature. Allow it to drain slightly and plate on a nice mound of your fresh cut fries. I serve this with a side of Eastern Shore Remoulade. You can serve this with a condiment of your choice. A lemon or lime is also acceptable. 